This is the latest frontier in the battle over genetically modified food. Atlantic salmon altered with genetic material from a Chinook salmon and an ocean poot. The result is a fish that grows to market weight twice as fast as wild salmon. Most producers will say that it takes them um, you know, 24 to, to 30 months to produce a market sized salmon and we can do that in 18. Ron Stoddish is CEO of Aquabounty, which created the fish 25 years ago and is waiting for FDA approval. The salmon would be the first genetically modified meat sold for human consumption. This is a generation of technology that can improve productivity, uh, can improve the availability of food worldwide. Salmon is but the opposition is fierce. Is it better in any way? No. Michael Hansen is a food scientist at Consumers Union. Absolutely. He's concerned the fish Absolutely. will cause allergic reactions and about what would happen if it escapes into the wild. That could cause uh, genetic pollution and have an adverse effect on the natural uh, salmon. on natural uh, salmon population. Major grocery chains, including Kroger, Safeway, and Whole Foods, have already said they won't carry the salmon even if it is approved. We're disappointed. The product, we believe, will succeed once consumers have an opportunity to, to sample it. The FDA ruled the fish is safe and said it's unlikely to harm the environment. But the agency stopped short of a final decision and tells us there's no timeline for when that might happen. Allison Harmelin for CBS News, New York.